Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about some second chance romances. <laughs> So this is a trope that I never really thought that I liked. Like I don't go seeking out second chance romance books. And if you don't know what second chance romance is, it's essentially a romance book where the trope is um, our main couple in the book was together in the past and this is about them coming back together um, for some reason. I never thought that this trope was like for me. I never, again, go out seeking these books. But like I have like looked at all of my shelved books. I have them specifically in tropes on my Goodreads and I have like 30 in here and I don't shelve a book in a specific category if I don't like it. And so I obviously liked 30 of these second chance romances. I'm only going to be talking about 10 um, today. <laughs> so let's get started with those 10. First I have Bottle Rocket by Erin McGlelan. Hopefully that's how you pronounce her name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now this second chance romance is actually like a romance where they were together as like high schoolers, as kids, um, and they ended on good terms or whatever, but then they ended up breaking up to go to college um, or to go their separate ways after high school. And so this is about our heroine who really wants to find like her hobby this summer. Like that's her goal for the summer. And so she goes to this uh, live art painting class and um, she mistakenly uh, walks into the still life <laughs> one instead of the uh, just object one um, and so there is a naked person right in front of her while she's painting and she did not mean to walk into this room and turns out the guy who's standing there uh, who she has to paint is her ex-boyfriend <laughs> who came back to town because he is working on some business in town and his friend asked him a favor to model for him for this art class because he is also an artist. Um, and so it's about them reconnecting. And I believe both of them are bi, if I'm not mistaken. I know he is specifically is. I don't think she like specified what um, sexuality she has, um, but they explore both sexes in this book. A very steamy book. It's fairly short, um, but this is like a second chance romance that I really enjoyed because like they ended on good terms when they were in high school and they always have fond memories of each other and so this is just about them reconnecting all over again and I really enjoyed this one. Next we have The Beast by Katie Robert. Now <laughs> this one is very interesting. So this is a part of the Wicked Villain series by Katie Robert. I really recommend reading the first three books before this one, before you read the fourth book. This is the fourth book in the series. They're companion books. You don't need to read the other ones if you don't want to. I just recommend because it's like a better reading experience um, because you read s about some of these characters in previous books. And so this one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it is a menage romance. Um, it is a romance between um, the character is based off of Belle, Gaston, and Beast. Our heroine is the daughter to this um, leader of uh, the sector of the city, essentially, and um, he ends up dying and his, his, her sister like is the oldest so she ends up taking over but one when her father like was still alive, Belle had a relationship with two of his like men like two of his like i don't want to say soldiers because it's not a soldier but like two of his like bodyguards or workmen i don't really know how to describe it it was beast and gaston and so they had a relationship she had a relationship with both of them but it ended up not working out they ended up leaving her behind or just quitting their jobs and leaving the sector because she could not choose between the two of them so they both left her and so then this book takes place in present time when her sister is the leader of the sector and her sister really needs protection and more men in their protection service. So Belle has to go back and basically grovel to these men to come back to her or just at least to protect her sister. They strike up a deal with her that they will come back and protect her if they both have her for a certain amount of time. It's about them all reconnecting all over again. <laughs> again, fairly steamy book, very entertaining. <laughs> yes, the second chance romance is explored also in a way that both of the characters, the male main characters, hate her because she couldn't choose between the two of them and so they hate each other and they hate her. It's a very interesting dynamic this book is. Then we have Eleanor and Grey by Brittany C. Cherry. Now this one, oh this one hits me in the feels. It is so good. If you have not read any Brittany C. Cherry, I totally recommend starting with this one. I think this was the first one that I read, possibly, I don't remember. Um, but this one is about Eleanor and Grey and when they were in high school, they were kind of a thing. So basically she was the shy, nerdy girl wallflower at like parties and he was the big jock popular guy. And so he ends up noticing her one day and goes and introduces himself and they're both dealing with like trauma and grief in their own households and they kind of like 
uh, connect through all of that and they become really 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 close friends and then like they sort of start having a relationship or start telling each other about the feelings that they're having for each other um, and then something happens to where um, our heroine and her dad have to move to a different state and they have not seen each other since and it's years 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 later our heroine ends up moving back to that town at some point years later and she is trying to find a nanny job and she goes into this interview and it is an interview for gray her past crush his two daughters because his wife has recently passed and it is a romance between Eleanor and Gray all over again. Gray is a completely different person than he was in high school. He is gruff, somewhat mean and abrasive and loves his daughters unconditionally and wants the best for them so he hires Eleanor despite having mixed feelings about her because he knows that she will do whatever is possible to take care of his children and I loved that so much and I really love how Eleanor just shows Gray how to love again and I loved that. <laughs> then we have Getting Schooled by Emma Chase. This one is another one where the couple was a couple in high school. This one is where our heroine and hero were a couple in high school and um, they end up breaking up for some reason. I'm not gonna tell you the reason why because that's a spoiler. This book takes place years later. Our hero is the football coach and teacher at the high school that he went to and then our heroine is an I believe a theater major and wants to um, work on theater shows and everything but right now she can't find a job but the theater department at this school really needs a substitute teacher because I believe the teacher is pregnant or about to give birth or has given birth or whatever and so they need a substitute teacher so she takes the job and um, he sees her at the school and he's like oh my gosh and like old feelings start coming back and um, it's really cute and really sweet I really liked the like school romance setting with it not involving students because I never write a book like that I still haven't read a book like that where it's like about teachers falling for each other it's a romance between the two of them coming back together and them trying to deal with the past and the reason why they broke up then I have hate to want you by Alicia Rye so this book is basically a Romeo and Juliet in modern day these two people on the cover um, are from rivaling families in this small town and I believe when they were in high school they like had a thing and like people found out about it possibly I don't remember it's been a very long time since I've seen since I've read this um, people found out about it and they like like stopped being together or whatever but they were like in love but then someone found out and ruined it all and so then it's years later but every single year on our heroine's birthday they get together like that is the whole thing they don't talk to each other at all throughout the whole year they just get together on her birthday that whole night they're together and then they wait until the next year until one year years later she does not show up and he is like baffled he's like what's going on and then a couple days later she shows up in their town and she has not lived in that town since this whole incident happened with them breaking up and everything and so then it's about them like reconnecting and them like hitting each other and supposed to hate each other but then like also love each other and then just trying to deal with their past and their family and everything i really enjoy this one this isn't my favorite part of this series there's more in this series that are definitely my favorite but this one is definitely a second chance romance that i enjoyed next i have barbarians hope by ruby dixon <sighs> okay so this is an alien romance book and it is a part of the ice planet barbarian series this is specifically book number 10 and i really enjoyed this one and i really wanted to get an alien romance on this list because i feel like all my recommendation videos are filled with contemporary romance and i don't read solely contemporary romances this one is about two sakui aliens so normally all the other books in the series are about a human mated with a Sakui blue alien person. Um, that's each book in the series. But this one <laughs> is about a couple um, who were first together. They were mated. They're both mates. Also, if you didn't know about the series, Alien Romance series, where um, each person to live on this planet has to have a Kui put in their body, which is basically a symbiote parasite that helps them live on this planet, helps fight off diseases, and also indicates to them when their lifelong mate or partner is near. And um, once they find them, they'll start to hum and have resonance. That means that they are ready to conceive a child. And then the resonance will stop, the humming will basically stop once the woman is pregnant, essentially. So our two characters in this book, you've seen them throughout this whole book hate each other and they're not together at all like they don't talk to each other they're not with each other but they are mates but they live separately and that's very foreign to the Sukui alien people and um the humans have always wondered why what's happened to them because they've never seen this couple together ever since they've landed on this ice planet so our heroine asha she had resonance with hamelo but she ended up getting pregnant and then having a miscarriage and she becomes a whole entire different person also trigger warning for miscarriage and trouble conceiving it just completely 
wrecks her and she becomes hateful and spiteful and mean towards her mates because she does not want to go through that ever again and so she just would rather hate him for it or hate herself and be by herself because she doesn't want to go through that all again and she misses her daughter and like wanted to have a life with her daughter it's them reconnecting all over again and I really enjoyed this one. I know it's not everybody's favorite in the series. It's not my favorite in the series, but I really enjoyed this one. And I love the exploration of them coming back together after a horrible, horrible tragedy. Next, I have Bound to Submit by Laura Kay. This one, I believe, is a novella. So this whole series, I haven't read any of the other ones in the series, but the series takes place in a club, a certain kind of club. I'm not gonna say what kind of club, but you know what kind of club. Um, called it blasphemy <laughs> and so our hero is one of the owners of blasphemy and our heroine and him used to hook up and get together years ago and so our heroine Kenna who was in this past relationship years later um, she just lost her career um, in the Marines and she also lost her arm and she is kind of spiraling and doesn't know how to pick herself back up again and then she remembers her past love or her past hookup buddy um, and is like he made me feel so in control of myself by what he did to me consensually and um, I want to contact him because I don't want to live like this. I don't want to feel out of control. I want to get a hold of my life again. So she calls him up or she goes to this club to get in contact with him and it's them coming back together all over again. This one is super steamy. It's filled with BDSM. Um, so uh, this is, I think like one of my first BDSM books that really explored the topic more. Um, so I really liked the talk of it in here. And so the second chance romance is very different I feel like from the other ones on this list uh, cause it's uh, quite steamier than the other ones but it's also fairly short so then we have it ends with us by colleen hoover i don't really want to talk about this one too much because i feel like the second chance romance aspect of this book is like kind of like a spoiler and like some people don't really agree with me when i say that this is a romance because i think it is but other people don't so basically our heroine she uh grew up in a very abusive household with her dad beating up her mom like every single day and she has vowed ever since like she was a little girl she's never ever ever going to be with somebody who will do that to her ever um and she doesn't understand why her mother puts up with it and so it's years later she has opened up i believe a flower shop also when she was a kid she had this relationship with a homeless boy named atlas um so that comes into play here um but then she meets this years later when she's an adult she meets this doctor i believe in new york or chicago or a big city or something and uh they start up a relationship together and it's the dynamic dynamic between that but it's also about atlas coming back into the picture and it's just the dynamic with everything and the big trigger warning for for abuse like huge trigger warning for abuse if you are not comfortable with that do not pick this book up i think that's the only thing i'm going to talk about this because i don't want to spoil anything for you just know that there is a second chance romance aspect in this book so next i have the high women by kerrigan Byrne. this one is so cute because it's like a childhood second chance romances because they were like itty bitty bitty babies um when they um started this relationship up <laughs> so basically when they were little kids uh they like had this like wedding with each other or essentially I don't really know it's like the ceremony that Highlanders do that is a wedding and so they're basically like married to each other at a very young age and um but one night our heroine like comes and runs to him because like somebody sexually assaulted her and um he goes to seek retribution and get revenge and um he ends up going to jail for it and ends up dying or so people say and so ever since then Farrah heroine has always kept her husband's husband as a kid's last name um and it's years later and there's this man walking around named Dorian Blackwell who um the police or Scotland Yard Scotland Yard is wanting to like talk to and basically get more information about and uh he ends up I think like kidnapping her essentially and proposes a like scandalous proposition scandalous i cannot say that word scandalous proposition to her to marry him and he claims that he was in prison with her husband her childhood husband um and uh he ended up dying but he may or may not actually be the same man um that she married as a uh, kid and so it's <laughs> it's a uh, I know there's a lot of impact there it's, it's been a very long time since I've read this book but this book is very good if you have not read a historical romance I think this is one of my first ones that I ever read and I loved it I loved the second chance romance part in this where they were like childhood sweethearts and then years later 
they possibly get back together so and lastly i have lady isabella's scandalous marriage by jennifer ashley now this one is second chance romance in the sense that they are already married they have been estranged for years i'm not going to tell you the reason why they're estranged because you kind of like read about that as the book goes along but lady isabella and one of the Mackenzie brothers um they were married um very hastily it was kind of like a love at first sight kind of like Vegas wedding essentially the first they meet and then they get hitched very soon and it was like a whole scandalous debacle and everything and they loved each other and then something happened and he became so heavy in his drink and um just not attentive towards her and something happened to her basically a straw that broke the camel's back to where she was like I am done. I am done. I can't be with you anymore. This cannot happen anymore. And so she ends up leaving him. They are estranged. They don't live together. They don't talk to each other anymore. He has grown as a person since then and really wants to make himself a better person to be able to make Isabel proud and possibly win her all over again. And so it's them reconnecting after their estrangement. So it's a second chance romance in that aspect where they're already married but he's wanting to get her back because he knew he messed up, he knew he did wrong, and so he's trying to make up for the fact that he made mistakes, but he has changed for the better and hopefully to win his wife back. Um, I really liked this historical romance. This is a second book to The Madness of Lordy and Mackenzie. I still have to read the rest of the series, but I absolutely loved the second chance romance in here explored with an already married couple. Anyways, there you have it. Those are 10 second chance romances that I hope you'll enjoy. Please let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all. Thank mm -hmm. you.